Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to program a Martin 2510 controller. Um, there's not really any guides to this on Martin's website anymore or on YouTube. There's a couple help files, but um, they didn't really help me too much. So a couple things you're going to need before we get started. First is a reverse face cable. Um, it's essentially a regular DMX cable, 3-pin, three 3-pin, three or XLR, whatever you want to call this Um I don't know exactly what's so special about this cable, but I just know that without it, it doesn't work. I've tried. Um, the second thing you're going to need is a data termination cable. Basically, same thing. It's an XLR slash DMX cable. Um, I don't believe you can just cut off the tip of one cable. I actually believe that um, the ground is soldered to um, pin number one. So pin one, three, I think gets soldered together. I haven't taken this apart. Um, so I can't really validate anything, but you're going to need one of these and it's going on your last light. So in my case, it was my only light. Uh, third thing you're going to need is obviously a regular DMX cable or as many DMX cables as you have for the lights. Um, I recommend start off with one light, make sure it works because it can be a little bit tricky programming it as you're going to see in the video. Um, so yeah, the last thing you're going to need is a USB to serial adapter or a com to serial adapter. Um, basically, the only way to program the 2510 is through a COM port. As you see on the back, you've only got two inputs. You've got one for COM and one for a DMX XLR. Um, so basically, this will show you how to program this tricky little guy because it's actually not the easiest thing to do. And uh, sorry about the mess. Um, in the process of moving everything up to my mount right now so everything's a little bit messy so just you gotta bear with me on the mess all right so this is a video for anybody having issues programming the martin 2510 controller um all the support on martin's website is complete garbage um so i'm gonna try i just well, I just finished playing around with this for about an hour and a half, and I finally figured out how to get the uh, controller to go back into download mode and correctly sync up. So, so far I've only got one Rio 610, and uh, I apologize for the mess I'm doing this downstairs, because I really don't want to walk into a venue and uh, be fooling around with this for hours and hours, looking like you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. So, I will re-upload this video later at a venue, I'll make the new video, um, and it'll be a lot cleaner. So, here it's working, uh, you've got version 2.0 of Light Jockey in, so basically when program sequence 1 is just blue, and you go to sequence 2, enter, goes red. Just what I want it to do. So, the way you're going to get this thing to work is first you're going to turn it off. You're going to load up Light Jockey. I've got my Light Jockey connected via, well, I've got the dongle in with the key and I've got the back of it connected up with a serial port to USB. So I'm going to unplug that first. I'm going to let Light Jockey reset it. So let's close up Light Jockey. Yes, we want to close Light Jockey. Alt F4. Yes. Uh, first thing you want to do is go into your device manager. And when you plug in your USB port, because I guess most of us are using USB because serial is hard to find on a laptop. You want to find out what COM port your USB is using. So in my particular one, it's using COM port number three. So let's load up Martin now. Bum, bum, bum. This one loads up pretty fast because I've just got two sequences on it. So, all right. So first thing you want to do, um, select your light fixtures that are being programmed into the 610 or into the into the 2510. Sorry. Um, like I said, I'm just doing a test one for now to show you guys everything, how it's done. Um, and a couple things to note, and I'll repeat it at the end of the video. You need, a, you need a termination cable at your last light. And you also need this stupid reverse phase cable. Um, all it is, it's a reverse phase cable. You can get them for a couple bucks at any store. And it didn't work until I plugged in this cable. And it really irked me. Um, so, I've got my lighting fixture selected. You're going to go into download mode, download the 2510. First thing you're going to want to do on your 2510, because now you get to use it, is you're going to turn it on. And while you're turning it on, you're going to hold the auto button. 
It's gonna go into a download mode. So let me just set the camera down so you guys can see it, hopefully. And you've got DD mode now. So DD means it's ready to receive signal. The first thing you wanna do is options. You wanna go compress list, which will compress your list. And you wanna go to 2510 memory test. Memory test will basically clear whatever else, whatever program's already in there. Once you hit it, it'll start flashing, blah, blah, blah. Memory test sent to the 2510. All right, next step, turn it off. Turn it back on. And when we load up, we'll realize zero, zero. Oh no, we deleted all our programs. Now let's hope this works again. So I'm gonna turn it off, unplug my USB. Very important step. Plug it back in. Wait for that beep. Now you're gonna turn it back to download mode using the auto button and the power on. So, and DD shows up. Now, you're going to go to create download. It's gonna tell you how much percentage of your 2510 you're using. No errors, no warnings. That's what you want. Download the 2510. Make sure your COM port's selected. Start download. This thing will start to flash like crazy. Ah, I got an error message. Yay me. So you may have to do this a couple times because obviously the software is not the greatest anymore. But I will tell you after you do it a couple times, it will work. Um, I'm going to try it one more time. I'm gonna, first, I'm going to pull the USB plug. And actually, let's see if it worked. Maybe it worked and it's, we just got an error message. No, I'm getting light number one is giving me white. Light number two is giving me white again. Okay. So let's try this. Let's try plugging it in. I heard my beep. Power it off. Download mode. Um, I'm going to skip the memory test this time. I'm going to see if this works without a memory test. We're beeping. Done. Okay. So it works now. Um, so sometimes, it, like I said, you have to do it a couple times more than once. Um, the first time I actually got it working, it was after 10 tries. And I realized that there's no video on YouTube. There's no support on Martin's website. So if you're still a light jockey and you're programming these 2510 controllers, or it's your first time, it, you know, it's going to be a battle. Um... If I'm doing something wrong, uh, let me know in the comments because this is the only way I've kind of gotten it to work. Um, in some forms, people are saying hold the power down button. Sorry, power it on with the down button. It'll turn into download mode. Well, let me show you guys that it works first. So RD, boom, 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 it's turning on. Okay, so we got blue. That's sequence one, sequence two. We'll switch it off. And we got red. So I'll show you what I mean about this other mode. So if you... You turn it on and you hold the power down button, you're gonna get this mode that says DO. I have not gotten this mode to successfully download anything. Um, it just throws back error codes, sometimes it'll just hang. Um, the other mode some people have set on forums is turn into PC mode, which is by pushing the power up button, or sorry, power on and the up button. Um, sometimes that'll actually disconnect your 2510 controller from Martin, uh, even though the USB is in there. And then you got to restart your computer or you've got to go into device manager, force close, uh, force the USB out. Um, but if you're, the one tricky thing with PC mode too, is when you turn it back on, it'll hang back on PC mode. So to turn it off, you've got to do the exact same thing you used to turn it on. And there you go, you're out of PC mode. So don't panic if you get into PC mode. Um, so once again, the last thing I just want to mention is make sure you have this phase inversion cable. Um, it, like I said, programming, I tried a million times until I put this phase inversion cable. It didn't work. I don't know why. It's a Martin thing, just like all Martin stuff is. Um, and yeah, DMX, blue DMX, goes right into... Blue DMX, Asian version cable, right in the back, COM port.
can unplug this now and I get some beautiful auto control art. Nice. Um, so yeah, so I'll re-upload this video at the venue when I go install it, and that's how you do a 2510 download mode, uh, or program mode, whatever you want to call it. It's a pain in the butt. You're going to have to deal with it.